great artists steal. <laughs> Good artists copy, great artists steal. Su Young Gong. Thank you, Joseph Master. I am a technology geek. So I work hard every day. However, every morning, I watch drama. Don't make a mistake. It's not a drama about desperate housework. It is a drama called Desperate Giants. So every morning, when I'm reading the news of mobile internet, Yesterday, you find Apple sued Samsung in the U.S. Tomorrow, you will find Samsung sues Apple in South Korea. <laughs> Today, if you find Apple sues Nokia in the U.S. In the season finale, you are guaranteed to find Nokia sued back Apple in Finland. A messy drama, isn't it? So. The underlying drive for that is about competition, violating habits, and stealing ideas. Stealing ideas? Not a big issue in China. But in the US, bingo. Congratulations, you're one of the rows in those desperate giants. Stealing is not only illegal, it's also immoral. People feel shame about it. Anyone here who feel proud or great when he or she is still? No one, right? But there is one man who used to be the director of Desperate Giants. Doesn't think so. When he was defending against the case of stealing graphical user interface and mouse design from Xerox, at the age of 1980, he said, Good artists copy, great artists steal. You don't get me wrong. This is a quote from Castle. And the man who battled stealing is the man who invented Massingosh, iPod, iPhone, iPad, you name it. Okay? And his name, yes, Steve Jobs. Now we'll be wondering, is Steve Jobs a double-faced man? Like those joints of human on Picasso's paintings? Or is he a truly great artist? To answer that question, let's go back to five years ago. When Jobs was introducing to the world of three great inventions at one conference, they are a iPod with a multi-touch screen, a phone, and internet connected. Yes, three things. iPod, a phone, and internet connected. But they are not separate. Together, they are named as iPhone. Before we wow for it, let's step back and think about those technologies. Multi touch? It existed 10 years ago. Internet. It came out about 30 years ago. Phone? I think it's probably older than any one of us are here. <laughs> Anyone older than that? You'll be amazing. But what put these three things together and make them a silicon art? It is a great artist. A great artist hardly means someone who just steals from the popular arts with the sources known to everyone. A great artist is someone who rammed through a pile of junk that filled with lots of bypassed ideas and then infused his own original thought, his philosophy into it, and transformed that to completely new invention. And more importantly, they created it before people realized they really needed it. For example, two years ago, when Apple was introducing iPad, the world is laughing 
right? It was nothing but a big screen iPhone. What on earth do I need some computers without a replaceable battery and USB port? Two years later. Now, when one third of the population in America has a tablet PC, it proves the fact that iPad is not only just resolution, it is revolutionary. That's what's happening now in the post PC era. When the shipment of Apple PC is about to surpass the volume of traditional PC. And it is also what happened 30 years ago in the pre PC era, when most people didn't believe they needed a PC. Selling a PC to them is like selling a refrigerator to an Eskimo. <laughs> when the Xerox developers was pitching the idea of mouse to his board members, it was like someone dumped a dead rat on the floor of the wooden table. <laughs> Misery. But here came a genius of great artists. Steve and his app. Those great artists steal those ideas and created Messenger. That not only redefined Apple, but transformed the whole computing industry for the last past 30 years. And from that point on, it happened again and again. iPod, iPhone, iPad. Think about it. A technology came out of Wacom. It exists a long time ago, but it was Steve Jobs and those great artists who infused their own philosophy into it and make them silicon arts. What's the philosophy? It is closed ecosystem. Simple and perfect. I bet that 30 years later, people won't remember or won't even care what's the finale of Desperate Giants. But people will remember Steve Jobs and those great artists who transformed our lives, created silicon arts, and leave their name upon it. Thank you.